See, the deep state's not just in Washington. It's all over the place. And by the deep state, I mean this kind of arrogance and contempt for the rule of law. You're seeing this in California in spades with the leftist uh, legislature there uh, just passing laws they know to be unconstitutional and seeing if they can get away with it. Uh, we fought back in California, for instance, when they passed this requirement, knowing that it was unconstitutional to require presidential candidates to disclose their tax returns in order to get on California ballots. In case you haven't noticed, the California, the, uh, the federal constitution lays out the requirements for the president. The states can't add to them. The qualifications for a president, the states can't add to them. And we sued in court and we won. And that's been knocked off. Now, more recently, you had the governor, Gavin Newsom, who has used the coronavirus to advance all sorts of far left causes, including undermining our border security by uh, by diverting seventy five million dollars plus in cash payments to illegal aliens. So what did we do? We sued. Judicial Watch filed a lawsuit in the Superior Court of California on behalf of two California taxpayers, Robin Crest and Howard Myers, asking the court to stop the state from expending $75 million in taxpayer funds to provide direct cash assistant, assistance to unlawfully present aliens, illegal aliens. And then there's another four, nearly $5 million in money that's spent to administer that. And what they're doing is they're spending the money uh, outside the authority of the law. And in California, taxpayers have a right to challenge um, expenditures that are outside the law. And, you know, federal law does provide for these types of cash benefits, believe it or not, however outrageous it may seem to you. But in order for that to happen, the legislature needs to follow the law and pass a law providing specifically for the benefits. And I'm quoting the law. A state may provide that an alien who is not lawfully present in the United States is eligible for any state or local public benefit only through the enactment of a state law which affirmatively provides for such eligibility. And of course, our lawsuit allow, alleges that California's legislature has not enacted any law that affirmatively provides that unlawfully present aliens are, are uh, eligible for that $75 million of money. Now, that would be terrible policy if it was passed, but at least there'd be some accountability. And it would presumably at least follow federal law. I don't know if it would even technically be illegal. That would be require a deeper dive. But we now know what Newsom is doing is outrageously illegal. Illegal aliens who are unlawfully present in the United States, as the law defines it, they shouldn't be here, let alone get taxpayer money. They should go home. If they want to make the United States their home, have at it, but do it the legal way. Get in line like all the, the million plus honest immigrants do to come into the United States. As I say in the release, Governor Newsom has no legal authority on his own to spend taxpayer money with these payments to illegal aliens. And the coronavirus doesn't give politicians an excuse to violate the law. The law of the land still stands. And thankfully, the states are beginning to open up. You know, this is why we got to get the states to open up because the longer these lawless shutdowns continue, this, this sort of corrupt behavior is encouraged and will happen more and more. I mean, D.C. here, they're still shut down. You know who the mayor, the leftist mayor of D.C. is appointed to help, quote, reopen D.C.? Susan Rice who had a column the other day attacking President Trump, which is par for the course, that's fine, and, and, and saying the coronavirus should lead to transformative, transformative change 
to cure America's basic illnesses or something. No, Americans' basic diseases, which were all like social, completely anti-American tirade. And she's been appointed, thanks to the coronavirus, to manage and help reopen D.C. Obama's back. Obama's back, thanks to the coronavirus, through people like Susan Rice. 